Suffered that pulled calf on day one. Seems to be feeling better. May or may not have been stung by a bee just before this stage. He's back to 100%. Look for a blazing fast run here from Castro. like that calf might still be bothering him a little bit. Pretty sporty. Very good, I think. Uh, struggling, legs falling off, but it's still attached, no quitting. Let's How go. about the bee sting to the thumb? Oh man, what a match. First my leg pops, then I get a bee sting right before I shoot. <laughs> into his reload. Right on the edge of the hard cover on the partial. That's going to be a fast one. Yeah, 14.92 it looks like. That is blazing fast. Right on the edge of that hard cover coming in. That was tough. It was uh, got out of position for the steal. Threw a bunch of rounds at it, so I went machine gun mode, and hopefully it still sticks. Yep. Got an Alpha Charlie down there. Looking like an Alpha Charlie here. Got a Charlie on that one. Two Alpha on that one. Should be pretty decent. Looks like 15.67. Range is clear, time 15.67. Like I might see a Charlie down there. That long low target has three on it, but two of them are alphas, so that's good news. Looks like alphas through here. Alpha Charlie. I, Ma'am, <laughs> I, I made up, so I shot three at it. Can you double check that, please? I'm sorry, I did not see that as an extra hit. So yep. two That's going to be two alpha on that target. That's some good shooting right there. Thank you. Yeah, I, just, I mean, this stage, I don't think I'm physically the best on this, uh, but I just tried to shoot alphas, and I had some makeup, so that's okay. So that was okay. Um, I think my hits were good here. Yeah, I think so, this is going to work out just fine. Yeah, I'm excited to finish out the day. Good we'll job, Max. Thanks. Keep it up, dude. Ryan looking into the squat move here. Little hip shift, had an extra on the steel there. He's not going to be happy with that. 16.7. See a couple of Charlies, even a Delta maybe down yonder. Range is 
clear time 16.77. A lot going on there. Yeah, a little sloppy. Um, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. A few extra, a few extra makeups that I think uh, will cost me some time. But at this point, I'm just hoping for clean stages. I haven't been able to do that yet this weekend. So I think they're all there. Good. Quick and those two ports from one position back. Listen to the splits on those last two. 1378 is as fast as we've seen. Is clear. Time 1378. On a mission right now. Like we might have a Charlie or two, but it doesn't matter. You're a full second faster than anybody yeah. else so far. Yeah, you know, John, this is exactly what I'm talking about right here. Pressure is truly a privilege, and I have that privilege on these stages. I'm approaching these with a level of intensity. With my visual focus on there, I'm waiting for my dot here, my Vortex Defender XL, meets exactly what I'm looking at, and I'm absolutely drilling the center of the Alpha. Hey, it's not over yet. We have a lot of more stages to do this on, but we're gonna do our best to do that. Let's make it happen. My man. Damn, a whole dissertation, bro. Looks like 2199 for Jordan. Some good looking targets up close. Range is yeah. clear. 2199. Good job, you survived. Can't be mad at that. I'm not. I I'm a little frustrated with my knee. I've had three ACL reconstructions while I was in the military, so I knew this was gonna be a really tough one. So I'm glad right. I survived. Way to hang in there. Good job. Yeah, thanks. Fourteen twenty-one. Range is clear. Fourteen twenty-one. It's going to be competitive. I like it. All right, that's why you don't neglect mobility. Uh, that first position was a little tricky getting out of, um, but I felt pretty good about it. I hit everything uh, on the first pass, so I was happy about that, and the rest uh, just flowed really easy. My man, good job. Chris Tilly into his make-ready process. Standing pace setter in the open division, both in USPSA and in IPSC. Looks like he's ready. It's going to be hands on ears. Are you ready? Stand by. Another 14, putting up a 14.44. Clear 1444. We got the hits out there. Look like a couple of Charlies, maybe. Chris, what do you think? A couple of Charlies. I, I stepped in a little wrong, wasn't comfortable at the start. Wish I had a little bit more time, but that's how it goes sometimes. That a boy. I can go out there and put a educated guess in on the fact that I don't think anybody's gonna catch Christian. Uh, they are winding it down on the stage. 
What was the hit factor for uh, Tilly there, Jeff? Chris Tilly had a hit factor of 8.7950, 20 alpha, 9 Charlie, 14.44 seconds. Very nice. So it's competitive, but, you know, Siler put up that 9 and change, and I don't think anybody's going to catch that today. Fifteen fifty eight for Walden. Range of player time, fifteen fifty eight. It's not gonna be competitive. Not going to be happy about that target. There's definitely one in the hardcover. 1562. 1562. Yeah. We'll see. It's out. That's too bad. The reshoot voodoo strikes again. That's a wrap for the Limited Optics Super Squad on 13, everybody. Good job. The best just got better. Introducing the S3 Range Cart Gen 3. This latest generation of our popular range cart brings next level organization and convenience to the shooting sports enthusiast. The cart itself is lightweight, but tough enough to handle all types of terrain while still being easy to pull. The lid is a padded seat capable of supporting up to 300 pounds. The telescoping handle makes stowing the cart in your vehicle's trunk a breeze our U.S. designed and manufactured range bags and accessories keep all your gear safe and easy to access while still allowing you the freedom to customize. All of the S3 products are proudly designed and manufactured in the USA using quality materials and parts. Cut through the chaos with S3 range carts and accessories. Focus on your game, not your gear.
These lenses really help make all the targets pop, especially when you're going from a jungle run in the shade out to a sunny day like this. They're great for us shooters on the range. Uh, I'd heard about them from all my friends in my first major match. He had a booth set up. He was awesome. He let me borrow them without even paying, and then I, it was sold. They were awesome. It really, for me, helps contrast with like the glaze, and you're able to pick stuff out a little bit better from the background. So here we go, mechanism one, notice not coming. You hit the hood latch, right out. When you want it, squeeze it, pop the hood latch. It sits upside down. <laughs>